Today I'll be sharing a comparison of two countries that I absolutely love, one being Brazil and then the other one being Tanzania. I've lived in both of these countries and this is just my perspective coming from the United States of the differences as well as the similarities between these two countries. You'll be surprised by some of the answers. The first one I want to talk about is safety. So when I lived in Brazil, I didn't always feel super safe, especially in the big cities, right? In Sao Paulo, where I was at most of the time. But when I traveled, like in Minas Gerais, other states, like it did feel better. But I think in the more touristy areas, like Rio de Janeiro, some of the hot spots there, it's just like kind of a place for a theft and for robbery and you just have to be really careful and even just in the streets of Sao Paulo it's not very safe and I did not feel like I could just go walking without being extra cautious and kind of looking around however in Tanzania I gotta say it's the complete opposite it's a really safe feeling even in the big city Dar es Salaam I'm not oblivious to the fact that crime happens and you still have to be careful right it's the same thing in the US but in general in Tanzania I especially loved that about Yes, the big city, but also in the villages and on the island of Zanzibar. Even though it's a really touristy area, you don't really have to worry about theft. I know it happens, especially if you're being dumb and waving your stuff everywhere, but the people are really respectful, friendly, and the life is very pole pole, as they say. All right, and then the second thing is more of a similarity between the two countries, which is both very warm, loving countries. Brazil, when I lived there, just everyone so welcoming, bringing you into their house, wanting to share gifts, their food and their culture, and it's just a beautiful thing. But also Tanzania, just so loving, especially like the kids in the streets that are like playing and having fun. They just like love to come up to you and play with you. And then the people are very, very kind. They care about you a lot. And so this is something I absolutely love because in the States, we're a little colder in that we don't talk to people like when you're at the grocery store as much, right? Besides very, very small talk. But I feel like here, it's more like you're talking to friends and just like, hey, like how, how are you doing today? And that's something I definitely uh, appreciate and admire both about Brazil and Tanzania. All right, this third thing is a similarity, but also a big difference. So both countries, I would say, are very diverse, but in very different ways. Brazil is very diverse in that the ethnic populations, the different cultures that they bring and blend together, the different foods, it's amazing. So just walking around, there's every type of skin tone, right? You have European influences, African influences, and everything in between, which is a beautiful thing. I mean, I love to see it. I grew up in Houston, Texas, so I was used to experiencing different cultures, seeing different types of people. Whereas Tanzania, there's definitely not as much ethnic diversity. But I will say about Tanzania, they do have so much diversity in that there are so many tribes here. Something really cool that I learned is that they have over 120 different languages and they're all spoken throughout the whole country of Tanzania. Now, the national language is Swahili and just a fun fact about it is they took all 120 languages and found common words or similarities between all of these tribal languages and that's how they created Swahili. So Brazil, ethnically diverse, beautiful, love that. And then Tanzania, just so diverse in the different local languages that they speak as well as the cultures that go with each of those languages. They have different foods and different things that they do in those cultures but I, w I would say the food part not as diverse as Brazil but still very very cool and very delicious. Now let's do a little cost comparison. First I'd like to talk about the local food so just what a daily meal would cost. In Brazil it's definitely cheaper than in the United States and I'm really grateful for that. I'd say it felt like it hovered around maybe two three dollars cheaper for example, if you go out to breakfast, it's going to cost you 4 or 5 dollars about for a breakfast in Brazil, which is awesome because in the States, you know, you're talking 7, 8 dollars up to 15 depending on where you're at. But in Tanzania, a breakfast here, man, it's crazy. You can get the huge, they're called chapati, which is like a non, it's its own thing, chapati, I love it. But you can get one of those for, wow, it's 500 shillings, which is like 20 cents or maybe less. And if you get like two of those, you get some eggs, local fresh fruit, it's gonna be anywhere between 
one dollar and three dollars which is awesome you can eat like a full meal that will be filling for less than a dollar here so they have certain breads there's one called andazi that is just really really good but it's more filling and it's less than 20 cents for sure so like 300 shillings and then let's talk about lunch i feel like lunch is about the same price in brazil and that it was five six dollars about and then in tanzania for a local meal it includes rice beans it even comes with meat or you can get fish depending on which part of the country you're in they have something called ugali as well but 3,000 shillings is a traditional meal that is very filling for sure. 3,000 shillings is about one dollar. It's like a dollar, ten cents, dollar, thirty cents. It's a lot cheaper the the cost of living as far as food here. Brazil, I'm so grateful for the food though. I would say there's a lot more diversity when we were just talking about that last point in food. So you can get a lot more things and have a lot more flavors. You get your cheeses and your breads in for sure. Whereas in Africa, specifically Tanzania, you know, it's a lot more rice and, and beans, a little bit of meats, different meats and stuff like that. I've got two more different cost comparisons for you. I just want to say, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure you subscribe. We've got a strong subscriber tribe here and I've got some really special perks just for you. Who knows, you may find yourself on a trip with me one day experiencing this making a video together reviewing a country that we travel to you can learn more about that in the description below we've got two more things as far as cost comparison the first of these two being the plane tickets okay from the US plane tickets to Brazil cost about they fluctuate they're between a thousand and two thousand dollars I'd say I've seen the range of it to me it's kind of pricey for just a standard ticket this is actually similar to Tanzania. It costs between 1,200 up to that 2,000 mark, um, depending what time of the year you go. And so I'd say they're pretty similar in that it's about the same price to fly to these countries from the US. All right, let's talk about transportation. Transportation in Brazil seems like we used Uber a lot more. They do have the subway, they have buses, and so those are definitely gonna save you some money, right? In Tanzania, the local transportation, they don't use Uber. They do have taxis, which yes, are a little more expensive, ranging between two to four dollars, depending on how I'm far you're going within a city but then the local transportation is very very cheap it's awesome it ranges between 20 cents and maybe up to a dollar if you're gonna go across the city or to a bigger part of the island if you're in Zanzibar so really really neat as well a lot cheaper they have three modes of transportation in Africa that I found really really neat so one is called a dala dala which is a bus and it's a very crowded bus they also have boda bodas which is just you ride on the back of the motorcycle and then they have something called a tuk tuk which is a small taxi and it's so much fun to ride around in those and the last thing i wanted to do a comparison of is the food in general and my thoughts about it both countries you know have great food Brazil, I know you have a strong pride for your food and the different varieties that you have. I gotta say, I definitely dream about it and I think about pastel and I think about drinking a Guaraná. I love, love, love the food there. The fruits also are really fresh, which I love. And the main meals as well, like feijoada, the, the breakfast that you have, misto quente and pão francês with the meats and cheeses that you have. I love it, it's very good. And my wife and I love to make it at home in the US, but also when we travel to Brazil, you know, we appreciate and love the food deeply. And then let's talk about food in Tanzania. Yes, it's not as diverse because rice and beans is gonna be the main thing you eat. But the more that I've eaten rice and beans living in Africa, I've really learned that there are different types of rice and different flavors of beans and qualities. I didn't really think about it that much because rice and beans weren't a big part of my diet in the US, but there are different qualities of it and they have really amazing rice and beans. They have great ugali, which is a crushed corn that turns into this dough that you dip into your meat and beans. 
gives it flavor. And then I will say, Tanzania, your fresh fruit is amazing. It tastes so natural, especially the pineapple, the passion fruit here. You guys have so much watermelon that is amazing as well. And so many other ones like the avocados. I'd say in both countries, your fresh fruit is amazing and definitely beats the States because in the United States, it's just not as fresh directly from the source. I really hope that you have enjoyed this comparison video about Tanzania and Brazil. If you liked this video, I think you'll like this other video that I'm recommending here. Make sure you subscribe. I'd love to have you here on the channel. Thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.